introduce our presenter. Our presenter today is one of our craft care specialists from Bay Pines, Florida. And she has been with us since 2007. So welcome, Kathy, and take, take it forward. Thank you. Hello, guys. Thanks again for joining us. Um, I'd like to go over some of the supplies you'll need in case you didn't pick that up at the beginning of this um, and give you a chance to go and get some of these things. Um, so we're going to need scissors, a pair of scissors. If you have some on hand, we're definitely going to need those for our stent, cut out our stenciling. An old jar cup just to clean out our brushes with some paper uh, or plaster or something to cover your table so we don't mess your table up. You don't mess it up while we're painting. I dispo any disposable plates, um, Dixie plates or foam plates or anything like that. I use these to put my paint on. That way I can just dispose of it and not wash it down my sink because acrylics actually have a plastic in them. And if you start washing it down your sink, eventually it's going to build up and you'll be calling the plumber. So let's try and put it on something that we can just toss, okay? Um, paper towels to dry our brushes off. We don't want to have our brushes wet as we're painting because it tends to pull this paint back off. If you have a hair dryer handy, um, we'll use that today also. It'll and make the drying time a little quicker. If not, just fan your painting back and forth and it will also help. And we'll take a couple breaks for dry time on this. And okay, the next thing we're gonna need to do <clears throat> is go ahead and pull the things out of your box that you got. I know there's a lot of really cool things in there, but we're just gonna take out what we need. They have a set of paint brushes in there. So we'll go ahead and pull those out open them and let's go ahead and get them ready for us. There's gonna be plastic covers on each one, on most of these. So go ahead and pull the little plastic covers off the tips. We'll put them to the side. Next thing are these applicators. We're gonna need the sponge ones. My video just ended. Okay, sorry about that. We're gonna need these sponge ones here. So let's go ahead and get those out. All right, then we'll put those to the side. And the next thing you're going to need will be the chalkboard that has a frame around it, not the one that's on the stand. We're gonna use the one that has a wooden frame around it and it's two-sided here. And the stenciling. So let's go ahead and open our stenciling up, okay? And keep them in order because we're gonna go through these in order and go ahead and get ours cut out that we need. And don't dispose of the backing on this because that's a good thing to use on, on our list. I told you to get like an old envelope or paper. This right here will work great for what we need to protect the painting as we do the sides of this. So let's go ahead and keep that backing also. Now on this first one, we're on the first page of the stenciling. We're going to need the snowflakes right down here. So let's get those cut out. And just cut them out in a square. Now I found it's going to be easier if you bend a corner or two, just so you can pick it up. Otherwise you smear it as you're picking it up. So bend a corner on them. Each one of these we're going to bend a corner on. So let's put that aside. Remove this blue sheet. We don't need anything on the second. Just hold on to that. You may use it one day. The third sheet, there are these stars over here. We're gonna take these 
and cut the stars out. We're gonna, oh, I'm sorry, these over here. We're gonna cut some of these out and we'll use these. The smaller ones, not the large one. We're gonna go for these three small ones. Just cut them in a square. And again, bend a corner so that we're able to pick it up. Put that aside. That's all we'll need on that sheet. The fourth sheet, we don't, it's got the Halloween stuff and the happy Thanksgiving things on that. So we're gonna put that aside. We don't need anything on that. The fifth sheet, we're gonna use this happy holiday part here. And that actually goes with this deer. So let's try to keep them together because you may one day use both of these together. So I'm gonna carefully cut that out without cutting surrounding stuff. And again, take a, pull, a corner, bent a corner, put that aside. On this, all we'll use is the happy holidays. We're not gonna use the deer. And I'll put that aside. And the last sheet, the merry and bright. So let's get that cut out. And we'll bend a corner on it so we can pick it up. I found even with fingernails, it's hard to get these back up. So bending the corners will help us a lot. Now there's a clear plastic on your chalkboard. Um, I had to use scissors to kind of put a little tear in it to open it up. So go ahead and open that up. Let's get that opened. Now in your box, you're gonna use all of your paints. So get each of your paints out while you have the scissors or something sharp. Take each of your paints and we're gonna shake each one of these up. There's, you have black, the pearl white, the pearl red, patina, and the yellow. We're gonna open each one of these and shake them real good. We're gonna get that paint mixed up because as it sits for a long time, it's going to separate. And sometimes it's hard to get these plastic off of these. So, and if you have a hard time, you don't have something sharp to get that off, you can just remove the top to get to the paint, okay? Let's take a second, let's get those opened up and shake them as you go. We're gonna have everything prepared for us. And the red one doesn't have a plastic on it, so we won't have to remove it. Just get it shook up and ready. Okay, this does go, it'll go a little quick, but don't worry about it. This will be on a recording. It is being recorded and they will put it on Facebook or something for you. So just look for it uh, to come out. And for those here in Bay Pine, just ask me, I'll let you know when it's out. Um, and for everyone else, they'll have it. Uh, Rose can talk about it again. When we take a break, she'll go over it all and let you know exactly where to find it and when. Okay, for now, let's go ahead and start with our painting. We're gonna take our white, which is the pearl white. 
And we're gonna put it on our plate. And I'm gonna put a good amount because we use a lot of this color. And we're gonna use our large flat brush that's in the package to go ahead and get that one. And we're gonna start with the ground cover. And it's probably about two inches up for our snow. So I'm gonna start about two inches up and I'm gonna put a little dip in it where my snowman's gonna set. Go to the other side and it doesn't matter where yours is or if it's straight across. It will be fine. Now we will double coat these. We'll do other things or take a break for to dry it. But for now, we'll go ahead and put this coat on, the first coat on the ground. And I tend to go from one side to the other to start with, and then I'll smooth it out. All right, and in between this, I'll tell you to wash your brush a lot. We wanna be able to reuse these brushes later on sometime. So we don't want things to dry in them and plus we'll be using them on different colors. So go ahead and clean that out for now. Like I said, we don't want it drying and then we'll take your paper towel or an old cloth or something and dry that off. And then we're gonna to go to the large sponge. These are applicators that you can actually put on top of these bottles of paint. But for this, we don't wanna fill the sponge up with the paint because we'll use it on other shades and stuff. So when, for this exercise, we're gonna keep it off of the bottle. Okay, for the snowman, we're gonna start with this. You're gonna dip it in the white and kind of pat it on the side so we don't have too much look at it. And you'll see where spots didn't get. So now I've got to make sure I get it on those areas. All right. Hey, Kathy, yes. um, people are having trouble seeing your example. So could you make sure it's centered, maybe move it up a little bit? Rose, one thing is if people are watching on a phone or a tablet, they may actually have to slide their screen sideways. Otherwise, they're only going to see one view instead of seeing both views. So th that could okay. be that could be part of the problem. Okay. Um, okay. I mean, Go ahead, okay. Kathy. And we also had a request to see the finished product. Like, can you? Um, show the finished product once in a while as an example? Yeah, this is what we're doing right now. Good, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, again, we're gonna put the base of the snowman on. And, you're, and then we'll put the center one on. Again, we're gonna put it on the plate. And the center one. And the reason I'm doing both of these the same set with the same sponges so you can see that bottom one, we're going to need to make it a little bit larger. So we'll use the same sponge, but just kind of tap it around, roll it on the edges and make the bottom one just a little bit bigger. Okay. Next. We're going to use the small one for the top. Again, tap it. And this will be his head. Put that on, just kind of roll it and don't have too terribly much paint on here, I'll just ooze out. And while we're letting that dry a little bit, we're gonna do some splatter snowflakes on here. I'm gonna take my flat brush that I've cleaned. I put 
that aside. I'm gonna put a little water over here on the side where I put and pull a little bit of white into it. Again, I'm gonna put a little more water. The water is to make this come off your brush a little easier with ease. If it's too thick, it does, when you, you'll see when I go to heading my brush, it won't apply. So we add a little water to it so that it removes from the brush easier. And you see I'm pulling some white. It's hard to see on the white plate. But I'm pulling some white over into the water. And then I'm gonna just take any of my brushes Now here I just have any brush. I'm gonna use a handle of it. And then this, I'm not gonna do it this direction. I'm gonna do it add sideways and I'll just hit it. And you see how it creates the little snowflakes. Again, you have to have some water in this paint for this to happen. And just do as many as you want. And when you're done, just clean your brush again. Dry it off. Really good. Because we would need to get that water out of it. Because we will do a second coat on the ground cover and a second coat on the snowman. So now I'm going to go into my paint, not the one I added water to, to the regular paint here that I have mixed. And I want a second coat because the first one's kind of transparent because we're on the black and it's okay because it, some of it just looks like shadow because it is a night sky. So I'm gonna get this in here. And just gently go over it. And then we can do a second coat on the snowman. And again, we'll start with our large sponge. Do the bottom. And again, I covered it pretty good with the paint. Do the middle. Just roll the middle. Then we'll do the small. Put it into the plate and you see how I tap it on the side because I don't want it to be overwhelmed with paint. And then put that on. Touch right there a little more. All right, so we have the ground cover done. We had the little snowflakes in. We have our snowman in. So right now we're gonna take a little break and go and dry this. Like I said, either use a hair dryer or fan it back and forth. And Rose is gonna talk to us about a few things while we do that. All right, hello everyone. I hope you are enjoying Kathy's presentation. Um, I'm just gonna show you a couple of other ideas of what to do with you know, other ideas for the supplies you received in your kit. Um, here is using the car and the same kind of technique for the snow and the Merry Christmas stencil and the snowflake stencil. So here's one little board. Um, the next one is using the easel, which you received in your package. And um, that is just a, it's, some stenciled snowflakes and stars, but the tree was all done with brush strokes. Very easy um, technique, and it's only you know white and green are the colors used and mixed. So that's a and this is the easel that you received in your package. And then the third one I'm going to show you is the easel, but it's a countdown to Christmas since we're we'll, we're u utilizing the chalkboard, and you can put right here with chalk how many days till Christmas. Did the stencil on the bottom with the ho ho ho, and um, you know a, a little holly leaves. So this is just giving you a few more ideas about what to do with your package and the extra items you received in your box. 
So I am going to go back to Kathy right now so she could finish up with your um, teaching. Thank you. Hi, Rose. Can you make sure that uh, both of Kathy's cameras are pinned and that your view is in gallery mode? Um, it seems like some of our participants aren't seeing both cameras. Okay, guys, hopefully that got taken care of there. And like I said, if this goes too quick for you, please don't stress. This is not meant to be stressful. Nothing we ever do is meant to be stressful. Do not try, to, if it's too much, don't try to keep up. It will be on a recording, okay? So please never stress on anything we do. And on the recording, you'll be able to start and stop it as you want. And you won't have to keep up with me, okay, on that. All right, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to paint the eyes and the mouth. And for that, let me hold these brushes up so you can kind of see what I've got. It seems I froze. There we go, my screen froze. All right, now let's get these brushes. For the eyes and the mouth, I'm gonna use the smallish brush in here. It's a round brush. And I'm going to take my black, put a little of that on my plate. At least this is a shade we'll be able to see on this white plate. Okay, now for the eyes, they're way up on the top of the head because, let me show you this. You'll see, he's looking up at the stars. So normally you put the eyes down here, but since he's looking up, they're gonna be way up on the top of the head, okay? All right, so I'm gonna put one way up here. It's just a little dot of black right there. Now his smile, just put a little bit of the cheeks showing there. And we don't have to have the straight little crooked smiles, looks really good on here. Okay, now while we have this, shade out the black, we're going to do, he has these little hearts on him. And on the bottom in the snow, like the wind's blowing. So we have some swirls down here in the snow. So that's what we're gonna add next. All right, so I just put like little question marks on one side. One two, but I don't put the dot. So just think of question marks. One, two, then we'll close it off and do the backwards question marks for the other side. And they don't have to touch. Okay, and then you have your little hearts. And then the swirls be free with those. Don't do exactly as I'm doing, because then you won't be able to be free and you'll see hesitations in this. So just let your hand go. I'll just do a little curl and swirl. And do them anywhere you want. Having a lot of trouble freezing. Our internet here has been so bad lately. So I do apologize when I freeze up. All right, so I have a few wind swirls in there now. 
the next colors, I'm going to wash that brush out so it doesn't dry on me. So now I'm going to need my yellow and my red so that we can make the orange carrot. So just a little bit of yellow there. And I'm going to add a little bit more. We will need this later. A little bit of red. We're going to use a lot more later on, but for now, let's just put a little bit. Well, guess what I forgot. No wonder we didn't need to take the plastic off. It's got paper in there, so let's remove the paper inside of it. Let's get a little bit of that on the plate. Okay, now if we mix yellow and a tad bit of red, we'll come up with our orange shade that we need. And just mix a little bit on your plate. I'm using the exact same brush I had before. I haven't switched brushes yet. When you do this, you start down about where the nose should be. You push the brush down and then as you're going up, start lifting it. And I'll do it one more time just to get it in there good. And we can come back and fill it in because when it comes up here where we haven't painted, you can it's kind of transparent. You can see mine, I'll hold it up closer. You can see that. So you can do it a second time, just give it a little bit of time to dry for you and then you can add it to it again and make it a little the paint a little thicker. All right, now let's go ahead and wash that brush off. We're going to make a color for the scarf here. Now for that, we're going to take our green patina that on the plate. And I'm going to use my small flat brush that came in the package. You see how it's flat on the tip? With that, we're going to use this small flat brush for this. I'm going to put some yellow and some of the green together on the side here. That's patina and yellow. And we'll get a little more green to it that way. All right, now right up under the neck, just put him a smile. And then we have the scarf. And just let it blow in the wind. And again, let it blow. Now again, you'll see how transparent that is. We're gonna let that dry and we'll come back and paint it again in a minute. But for now, we'll just let it dry. Okay. Let's wash that brush off so it doesn't stay in a smaller brush you'll find it'll dry out a lot quicker. Right, we're going to use some of our stenciling now. So we're going to add some snowflakes. So you get out your little snowflake one. And you can put these anywhere on here you want and however many you want on here. And we're gonna do a couple of these in white. And I use my small sponge for that. 
I'm going to go back to mock white paint here. Dab a little on there and I'm going to use this side of it, not the whole thing. Oh, so when I do this, then I don't get it all over. So I'm holding it down and I'm going to pat. And I only want to put what I feel like I want on here. And I just want the big one on this side. So I'm going to hold this side down, lift my corner so I don't smear it. And then I'm going to kind of wipe it, dab it off, clean it with a paper towel so I don't transfer paint. So I cleaned, wiped it off with a paper towel, front and back. Now I want maybe a small one over here. I'm gonna place it over here. Again, use my small sponge. Tap it over it. And left. And then we can put these away and use them another day, okay? So I'm gonna put my, that one away. The next stenciling we're going to do is a few yellow stars. Now for the yellow to make it uh, not as transparent, I'm going to add a little white to it. So I'm going to put a little white, probably about 50, 50, 50% 50 white, 50% yellow. Mix it on my plate here. So that's the shade I'll use for that. Again, let me wash my brush out. And to clean this, if you put too much paint on it, you can just use your paper towel, press it down on a paper towel, and it'll clean a lot of that paint out for you. Okay, so now we're gonna do a few stars. And again, just use the side of your sponge. I'm just gonna dab a little into the yellow I just made. You see how it's only on the side. And put these wherever you want and do whichever ones you want. I'm just gonna do just this big one here. And then hold it down and pull my corner. This color. Let's go ahead and do our merry and bright stencil. I'm going to put that right up here. And again, I'm going to put the yellow mix that I made on my sponge in the corner. Hold it down to keep it in place. And we're just going to Press this in here till we get it all filled in. And if you need to add more paint to it, go ahead. All right, so now I have that. Lift it up and we have our merry and bright on there. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is go back and add our second coat to our All right. All right, now we're going to dry this. So I'm going to go back to uh, Rose while we all take a second to either let this dry, fan it dry, or use a hair dryer to dry it. All right.
grow there. Come back. All right. Um, I just want to show you a couple more ideas for the items that were in your kit. Here's the chalkboard easel. So um, what Kathy did is she stenciled the top and the bottom and left some space to write on. So again, you could add your, your own chalkboard message on that. And then also we wanted to give you a couple ideas that were not um, Christmas related. So here's just a USA chalkboard using the stars and the USA and the frame is painted white. So, um, you know, you could put any message you want with chalk on this, very patriotic. And then our CCS here, Mia, did the wood panel that is included in your kit with a Halloween theme. So just a very abstract, cute, use stencils at the top and a lot of freehand painting. But we just kind of wanted to give you some other ideas on what to do with the items, other items in your kit. So there you go. And I'm going to put it back to Kathy so she could continue finish up the rest of the snowman. Thank you. Kathy, unmute, please. Unmute. Thank you, Rose. Um, I was saying, uh, don't stress this again. Um, please know that you are going to be able to see this online um, and be able to hit pause anytime you want. So do not stress it at all. So we're going to use that backing that we saved for my stenciling. And we're gonna use that to guard the frame while we paint our red around it. So I just put the edge on there and we're gonna need our red paint. And then we just go ahead and get that painted in. And do your edges. And go to the bottom here and paint it. And we're gonna go all the way around this. So feel free to turn this picture around as you need to so that you can get to each one of these edges. And this red is very pretty red. It's a pearl red. So it has a little bit of Christmas glittery look to it. I'm gonna turn it over so I can get to the top part. Get the side here. I'm using, I'm sorry, I'm using the large brush on this. It'll work a lot faster for you. and gets it a nice and smooth. It's just the right size for this frame. This wood will soak this up pretty quick, so it'll dry really quick for us. I'm gonna wash my brush out, so make sure and get it cleaned out. So we, like I say, you could reuse it because it's an awesome kit to have, and we can thank HHV and all of our donors. 
for those kit for that kit. It is awesome. All right, on the bottom here, let's spread that out. We're going to use our yellow again in our stenciling and put the happy holidays across the bottom. Now, as you see, it's the one with the, um, the deer on it. We're not gonna use the deer. We're only using the words on the bottom of it. I lay them down right on the edge and I ho always hold it down with one finger as I'm doing this. Use our small sponge and our yellow. If you need to mix some more, like I do, again into the center, the yellow and white, 50-50. Put it on the corner of your sponge. Hold the happy holidays down and make sure, look at it, make sure some of the letters aren't hanging off somewhere and get it as close to the center as you can. And then we're just gonna dab and watch the little hoof up there because we don't wanna actually get it into the deer. And then use your corner and pick this up and you'll have your happy holidays on there. So again, I'm gonna show you the completed one while that's drying. So you, when you have time, you can go over this and do a second, you know, another coat on everything, get it a little brighter. All right, we have only one thing left to do on it. Now that it's gotten to that point, and it should be a little drier up here for our scarf, we're gonna put all our stripes on it. And again, we're gonna go back to our smallish brush, the smallish brush you have, back into our red, and we're gonna put little stripes. And you notice I have to keep dipping. I'm gonna put them down the scarf and I dip and dip and dip. I'll put maybe three before I have to dip into my paint again. And at the very end, stretch them out. A little fringe at the end. Again, another one. Okay, and that is the last part we have to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you go on Facebook and watch it and do it again. And also on the back, you can practice on the back of these. You see you have the same thing on the back. So if you want to try it again or do something different, you have the back to do that on also. So Rose, I'm gonna give it back to you. All right, thanks, Kathy, that was great. Um, if anybody has any last minute questions, oh, um, please type it in. And um, other than that, we just wanna thank you for all attending. We hope you enjoyed it. And our next virtual crafter studio is February 23rd of 2022. So watch for, um, you know, messages or information about that. And please don't forget, in case you went behind today, fell behind, you will get an email with the recording or the link for the recording will be on our website, which is healvets.org. And thanks again, everyone, for attending. We were happy to have you. And thanks, Kathy. You did a great job. Thank you. Thank you, guys.